Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Vagino. I'm a dance movement therapist through the Andrea Rizzo Foundation, and we provide therapeutic support at children's hospitals here in Los Angeles. Today, I'm going to do an activity with you and give an opportunity for us to keep moving even during this pandemic. So today's activity is called image movement. I want you at home or wherever you are to look up some images, whether you find them in magazines or books, or you want to go online and find animals. Yes, right? So many animals that move. You could find water. I love the idea of looking at water and how it moves fast and slow, or it could even be those fun actions, right? Throwing, pushing, jumping, lifting. So many ways, cute little pictures, right? So. I'm going to take you with me and we're going to explore how we could move. Right now I'm outside and all I can feel is this wind. So I'm going to have a start by moving like the wind. So the wind can move all the way. It really can help us shift like we're balancing, right? From one foot to the other. Start to see that my clothes are moving, my hair is moving. I might feel it on the back of my arms or the top of my head. And then I want you to see if you can pick up the speed with the movement, how fast you can go, right? It can go up and down and side to side. And maybe those of you in different areas, you might notice it's really cold or maybe it feels too hot. So different ways to move. Okay, and imagine that as we start to move, we can put some music on if you want. We can get our body moving even faster as we were in that nature. And I'm wondering what animals are out in that nature. So whether you have a picture you're looking at or you're just moving in your mind, let's see if we can jump like a bunny, right? There's bunnies, rabbits outside. Or you might see, can you crawl and crouch like a tiger very slow through the jungle? Wow, it already feels like we're far away, even though I'm just in my backyard. All right, so imagine, oh, after all that moving, we might need to cool down. My water fountain just turned on. It's reminding me of the water. So let's see if we can reach our hands up really high and find how they can trickle, 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 trickle down. And taking a breath again, then seeing if they can trickle all the way. Can you go all the way down to your toes? And then as if you have this huge, huge, huge bucket of water, pour it all the way down. Whoosh. Or maybe I'm gonna splash you with some water. <laughs> you can get me back and we can play fight. You might be throwing water at your parents and your brothers and sisters, or even just anyone in the room. Maybe it's a doctor or a nurse. Whew, so many ways to move. All right, as we slow down, remember you can take these movements and you could be animals and nature and water and actions, right? We did so many different ones. You could even create a whole story. Maybe that animal goes to the jungle and finds some water. So many ideas and I'm really excited to hear about them. So I want to make sure you keep moving with us. Dreasdream.org. We're going to have many activities for you to see and keep trying them on and sharing with each other and finding new ways to move together. Thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful day.